Janu, hope you're doing well. Uh, being down there in South Florida, how helpful has it been for you as a tight end to, to be able to catch up with Ryan a couple times a week? That's what he told us uh, last time we talked with him. Get the, you know, get a little uh, work catching passes in from your quarterback when some guys uh, are in other spots and can't get the usual workouts this time of year. It's been very helpful, um, you know, just building the chemistry, you know, taking advantage of uh, being in the same location, um, you know, just, um, you know, trying to get ahead, man, and, um, you know, just continue to work on our craft and improve every way we can. So it's been great that we've been able to get that work in and, um, you know, I'm sure it'll put us in a good position um, during the season. Uh, Jim Wyatt. John New, good to see you. Uh, just, What's going uh, on, just, I'm doing great. I hope you're doing well. Uh, just checking back. Uh, what, were your, what was your thought process this time last year, and just what's it like now to be able to just focus on football and not worry about recovering? And now you're just getting ready. Yeah, to yeah. Um, it's, it's it's definitely a great feeling that you can just um, uh, you know go into the off season and you know get ready to work. Um, you know, the past two years for me, the off seasons. Um, you know, I've, I've kind of been in like recovery mode um, from my rookie year into my second year. And um, this was the first season I actually got to, um, you know, really go and, 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 and just, you know, hit at 100 miles an hour as soon as the season ended. Like the, the season, we, 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 we lost to Kansas City. And, um, you know, I was back working within a week and a half. Um, you know, I was just so excited to get back to it. Some guys, you know, take, take time off to get their bodies right. But I just, um, you know, feel like I had to play catch up, having had the last two off seasons been in recovery mode, but me being able to get back into it and, you know, just, um, you know, get back in the swing of things, it was definitely a good feeling. Uh, David Beauclair. I'm good, thanks. Uh, John Glennon. Hey, John, how are you? What's going on, man? Not too much. Um, wondering if you could talk uh, a little bit about, you know, you kind of had, uh, I guess, in a lot of ways, a little bit of a breakout season uh, for yourself last year, a lot of good numbers. Um, a, a little bit tough to, to kind of put things on pause a little bit here as you get ready for this season, I'm sure. Or I would guess you kind of wanted to keep that momentum going uh, from, from last year. Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, as a professional, you just – want to continue, um, you know, to improve and, uh, you know, continue to, to build off any momentum that you've, uh, that you've had um, just to get better. That's all I focus on is just getting better and getting better and improving and improving. Um, because, you know, uh, I mean, if you aren't in it, you know, to, to, to maximize your abilities, um, you know, I feel like you're in the wrong business. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to improve and, and get better and work on my craft. And, uh, you know, I'm having fun doing it, man. Uh, Kayla. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. How are you, man? How you doing? I'm doing well. Um, saw a picture you posted a, a while back and I know you had served some lunch to some special healthcare workers and that included yeah. your aunt. Uh, first mm -hmm. of all, what, what does your aunt do in the medical field? And, and what was it like to kind of be able to do something like that for these people right now who are putting their lives out there? Uh, well, she's a nurse at um, University of Penn Hospital. And, uh, you know, she's been doing that for the past, what, uh, I want to say, she's, man, every, uh, since I can remember, I want to say probably most of my life, probably over 20 years maybe, she's been working at that same hospital. And, um, you know, I just remember, you know, going up there with her sometimes and, um, you know, I just, that's just what she does. And, uh, you know, for me to, to be able to, to give back, you know what I mean? Um, as small as it was, you know, it's, it's just brought me a lot of joy to be able to, um, you know, help, you know, the people who are, um, you know, helping us during these, um, uncertain times. And, uh, you know, for me, you know, I, I got more joy out of giving it than I'm sure they probably got receiving it. So, um, you know, it was just a good feeling, um, you know, put a lot of things in perspective for me. You know, um, you know, those people, you know, they're coming in contact with um, a lot of um, sick patients and, uh, you know, they're just trying to get them healthy and get them better. So I just wanted to show a little bit of appreciation by, uh, you know, just treating them to a lunch. And, uh, you know, I've, uh, 
you know, I've, you know, I've did it a couple more times, but, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a good feeling. Uh, Corey Curtis. Hey, John, I just wanted to ask you about uh, you're going into your first contract year of your career. Uh, is there any extra pressure? And, is, and would you like to have a new deal done before the season? I, I just play football. I just play football, man. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't, you know, worry about the, the contracts and I just worry about improving and becoming the best player I can be. Um, you know, and, you know, that's why, you know, that's why guys got agents and, you know, people who, who work for them in those areas so they can handle all of that, that uh, you know, the logistics and everything. So uh, I'm just trying to improve and become the best player I can be. Um, because if, if not, you know, honestly, you know, contracts wouldn't even be in the conversation. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to be the best player I can be to, to help this team, um, you know, win as many games and win championships and win Super Bowls. Has it helped to see guys like KB and Taylor Lewan go through this process to help you handle it? Um, I mean, man, you know, like I said, you know, I just try to, you know, like I, that's kind of what I learned from those guys. You know, I didn't, um, you know, from knowing those guys, man, you know, haven't been around more guys that went through that process. Um, you know, they just, you know, been professionals about it and, uh, you know, just kept their head down and, and kept working. And that's kind of just what I took from it. Um, you know, just control what you control. I'm not negotiating the contract. So, um, you know, I don't know what happens. You know, I'm just um, glad that I'm with the Titans. Uh, you know, I love being here. I love playing for the Titans. And uh, I'm going to continue to um, be the best player I can be for this team. Uh, Paul Kaharski. Hey. Uh, I was hoping you could kind of talk us through uh, what you and Ryan do. How far are you from each other? Where, where do you meet? And kind of what's what's your routine? How often you get together? And 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 what's a two man workout like? Yeah, you want to know everything, huh? You gonna come down here and throw with us? <laughs> <laughs> get you in there, man. Get you in there on a couple of reps. I last for, for two minutes. All right, cool, cool. Nah, man, but uh, we both down in the South Florida area. Um, you know, we meeting up, you know, at a, you know, a, a local park and, uh, you know, that, that we're able to get into, um, you know, not illegally. Uh, <laughs> we're not breaking any rules. Um, but, um, uh, you know, it's privately owned. But uh, we, uh, you know, we just been, you know, getting all the work in that we can, you know, just, um, you know, pretty much everything that I do that, you know, you know, on Sundays and, you know, um, I'm just trying to perfect that, you know what I mean? And me and Ryan's making me better. I'm making him better. And, uh, you know, we're just building that chemistry. Uh, you know, anything you can imagine as far as what it takes to be a, a, a quarterback and a receiver, tight end, you know what I mean? Um, just doing all certain things to, to, to get each other better. So it's been great work, man. Um, we've been able to, you know, maximize the most of our opportunity. And, uh, you know, I love doing I love, you know, I love working with him, man. How much an advantage do you think it might give you to uh, come come the season to have, have had all this real time together? Yeah, I'm sure it'll give, it'll give us a, a great advantage. Um, you know, just learning my speed, learning his speed, learning, you know, just, you know, feeling his, you know, feeling the, the football come out of his hands and, um, you know, just catching the football, just knowing to spin on that thing. And, you know, I'm only, you know, I'm only, you know, learning the more and he's only learning me more. So I'm sure it'll be a great advantage. Uh, turn on. What's up, John? I hope everything's going well for you. What's going on, Teron, baby? What's up? Yes, sir. Uh, as far as you entering this off season, uh, this this season rather, you're you tight end number one, right? You're the guy from that perspective. What ways are you looking to improve to be able to handle that type of responsibility? Um, man, I, like since since my rookie year, man, I've always just uh, been a guy that that uh, always preached, man. And, and, anybody's asking me, you know, the question of what areas do I focus on, I always tell them everything, everything that my job entails, and that's going to be the answer from day one until I'm gone, man. Um, you know, because, um, you know, I, I can't be one-dimensional. Um, you know, I'm, I consider myself as a versatile, a versatile player. So, um, you know, I just got to uh, work that way, you know, whatever, whatever it may be, man. And uh, I'm just going to, like I said, uh, I, I enjoy working. I'm a worker, man. I love, I love working. So that's uh you know that's that's what I do and uh, that's that's what I'm uh, um, you know hang my hat on just working in, in every area that my, my position entails. Being that top guy in that room, do you feel the responsibility to take on more of a leadership role? 
Um, I mean, yeah, it was, it, but it's no, uh, you know, it's no extra pressure on me or anything. Um, you know, we, we got a lot of uh, great guys in that room, man. And, uh, you know, I'm sure, uh, you know, the thing about it is, you know, we can all, you know, look to each other, you know, for, you know, we, we are, it's not too many young guys in that room, maybe one or two, um, you know, but, you know, I'm just going to continue to be myself and, um, you know, and, you know, always, you know, ha have that leadership trait in me and continue to, you know, be the leader that I have to be. And uh, you know, for 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 the for our room to thrive, and um, you know, I'm just thankful. You know, I, I got a lot of other guys in the room, man, that you know are older than me, you know, and uh, you know, or just the same age as I am. You know what I mean? And uh, you know, we can kind of push each other and lead each other, man. But um, I guess uh, I'm not gonna put any extra pressure on myself as being just because I am the number one guy. But um, you know, that does require a, a leadership role, and um, I'm definitely ready to take on that role. Uh, Buck, uh, Jane Slater. I'm working on this unmute thing. Sorry, Johnny. Uh, going back to the workouts with Ryan, how often are you guys doing that? And then my next question would be, how, how are these virtual OTAs going for you? In other words, some of you guys obviously would come back um, and get at the facility and <laughs> away from your family and, and your friends, does it help to sort of compartmentalize this a little bit from your home, but then in this case, also being able to work out with your quarterback? Oh, I'm sorry, what was the, what was the last, it was like a three part question. I'm sorry, what was, I was focused on the first one. What was the last no question? Worries. Okay, so I'll just recap. Uh, one, how often are you working out with Ryan at, at right. the park? And two, given that a lot of times you guys would come back and work out at the facility during these voluntary OTAs, has it helped being able to be in those meeting rooms from your home, but still get in some work with your quarterback oh, okay, with the way yeah, this whole thing has been set up? Yeah, yeah. Um, so to answer your first question, uh, man, me and Ryan, we've been getting in a few times every week. We haven't missed a week, um, not once since we started. And I, I want to say we probably started right when this, you know, quarantine thing, uh, you know, went into effect. And uh, I, I don't know, maybe that's been two months or so. I, I don't know. We've been getting in every week. We haven't missed a week. And um, we uh, and to answer your second question, I feel like we, you know, we get in everything that we can out of these meetings. Um, you know, I feel like as far as the classroom goes, um, you know, we're not we're not really missing a beat um, because you know you're sitting down and you know in front of a board anyway. You, you know, kind of listen to the talk, to listen to the coach talk and, and speak, and you know it's more um, listening than it is doing anything else when you're in those classrooms and you know paying attention and keeping your eyes peeled. You know what I mean, but. Um, your ears and your eyes peeled, but um, I'm just trying to, uh, you know, continue to, to take advantage of those meetings, man. And, um, you know, it, it's been great. You know what I mean? Um, the QBs, receivers, tight ends, you know, everybody, you know, just been getting it in and, um, you know, being involved and the guys are buying in and, uh, you know, we're in a good position. So I think we're getting everything we can out of them. Uh, John Glennon. Yeah, John, um, you know, I guess obviously no uh, no player gatherings yet, but I, I'm just wondering as you look ahead uh, to that potentially coming at some point, you know, uh, what are your thoughts? Are, are there, you know, concerns about when that eventually happens with uh, with all the COVID-19 situation? Or, you know, uh, do you uh, do you feel confident that'll be in the past by the next time you gather? What, what, are, what are you and maybe some of the guys that you talk to think about that? Yeah, I mean, well, obviously, um, safety is first. Um, the, the health and lives of uh, humanity, you know, is more important in a game. And, uh, you know, we, we, we all know that. So uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure, and, you know, and I'm confident that, you know, those who are in charge of, you know, allowing us to come back, you know, they're going to make the right decision when the time is ready. Um, you know, even if that requires, um, you know, a delayed, season uh, you know maybe maybe you know unfortunately maybe it is maybe no season you know I hope it doesn't go that way I'm sure we all hope it doesn't go that way um but uh, like I said um the health and lives of uh you know the players are more important you know than anything so um you know we're just uh trying, trying to trying to maintain our professionalism uh you know we we uh we are athletes, our body is our work. So we just got to make sure that we're staying on top of that and maintain it. Um, you know, we're expected to, to, to perform and, um, you know, um, you know, work at a high level. So uh, we got to be prepared for that one way or another. A few more. Uh, Chris Harris. Hey, John, kind of along those lines, uh, 
is about disappointing is it that uh, the NFL kind of extended its uh, its virtual off season at least through the end of the month? I'm sorry, what'd you say? Yeah, the NFL extended its virtual off season at least through the end of the month. It was supposed to end yeah. this week, and now it's going through the mm-hmm. end of the month. Just kind of, mm-hmm. you touched on, you know, obviously player safety and everyone's safety is being the main thing, but that's just like you know m- delaying what you guys hope to get back to. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. It's uh, you know, it's it's not easy. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's unnatural for us, um, you know, to 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 you know, kind of be doing things um over a screen, but uh. You know, it's uh, it's, it's we, we, you know, we have to adjust, man. We got to control what we can control, and uh, you know, other teams are in the same predicament we're in. So, when you know, time the time does come, and I'm sure it will when the time does come for us to strap on our helmets and, and and you know, lay it all out there. Um, you know, we're gonna. It's no, it's not gonna be any excuses. Or we didn't, you know, we would learn over that. None of that doesn't matter. So, um, you know, we just got to be prepared as, as we can be and um, take advantage of what we have right now. Uh, Teron? All right, John, I'm pitching in, pinch hitting for Buck. He, his question was in regards to going into this season for the first time with, without Delaney Walker in, in your corner. As far as you said, oh, you said, what would you say as far as not going into the season with Delaney Walker? How was how like, my take on that? This is your first time going into a season without Delaney Walker there with you. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah, man. Uh, it's it's bittersweet. It's bittersweet, man. Um, you know, I'm be talking about a a guy, man. Like I, I call, he's calling, man. That's 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 the OG right there, man. And uh, you talking about a guy that that took me on his wing from day one, and uh, it has been nothing, man, but just a, a great person to be around, a great role model. Um, a great player, but even a better person off the field. Um, you know, I think, you know, when it's all said and done, Delaney would be, um, you know, one of the best to ever do it at, at his position um, simply because I got to witness this guy, man. I got to watch film on him for years. And he was um, – <clears throat> Delaney was kind of the, 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 the tight ends that started to to, to transform. Um, like, the, he was kind of a part of the new era style tight ends, man. And, you know, that's what I mean by him, you know, being one of the greatest, like, when that role kind of changed as, the, you know, those tight ends being predominantly pass catchers, man, and, and great route runners and being able to do electrifying things with the ball in their hands, man. You know, Delaney's definitely one of the best, to, you know, to ever do it, you know what I mean, at, you know, at that at that level, at that position. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be, you know, Tough not to look over next to me, man, and see and see my guy next to me in those meetings, man, and you know on the field with me. But um, you know I'm sure that you know he he you know his future is as bright as it can be, whether you know he continues, you know playing football or not. You know I don't know what decision he's made, but um, um, you know it's it's for me. Um, you know I'm tight in one now, and um, you know I'm just going to take advantage of the opportunity that I have in front of me, and uh, like I said, continue to work and you know just be a workhorse. And, uh, you know, do what's expected of me. Uh, last one, uh, Paul Kaharski. I was going to ask about Delaney, but since I've got the floor, I'll keep picking at you for details about the workouts. How many footballs you guys got out there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we got a couple of them, man. We got a couple of them. Maybe you ship us some more. Maybe we get some more work out there. You ship us some more. We get some more footballs going. <laughs>